Hi! So I thought I'd just show you shortly another example of virtual reality in architecture. On a small example of a retail store we did. And this is a very fast process. We got the CAD model in different versions, Rhino and OBJ and 3DS. Whatever we get basically it can easily be adjusted for the game engine and the meshes can be optimized for VR. We usually start in the first person mode and then we can switch to VR with a click of a button. Or we can switch to any other mode like third person as you have seen in other videos. Here you can see my hands. Okay, so I'm at the entrance and I can start moving around. By moving my hands I can actually measure the reach and the distances. See if my hands collide with something. Joysticks can vibrate when they do. In this particular model we're not interacting with objects, not picking anything up or throwing it. And we will not change lighting or materials. You can see that in other videos I made. But I wanted to show you here that in VR you can really feel the space, which is very important for spaces with precise and narrow measurements like this. Something you can never feel with a simple rendering. We still did not program the mirror reflection, although that is possible. I can easily change the perspective, bend down, could open a drawer if we program that. As I said, no interaction in this video, you can see that in our other videos. If you have counters like this, you can see if the heights are right, you can, how it looks from the perspective of a salesperson. It is very, very useful for the designer and the investor. Or even a future worker here. And how does it look in the changing room? Is there enough space? You can spread your arms and see, for example, that here they are colliding with the wall at some moment. But then I can go to the other, larger cabin, and when I spread my arms, I realize that this one is pretty big. The performance is also amazing. This is rendered close to 100 frames per second on a very average $1,500 worth gaming laptop. So as you can see, the performance is not really an issue anymore. We will try to push the photorealism even more to see how much we can achieve with a normal laptop. But keep in mind that if we did a first person version of this for a desktop with a mean graphic card, this could look 100% photorealistic. This is now optimized for very fast VR simulation and as you know VR renders each image twice basically for each eye. And all of this, as I said, many many times per second, up to 100 in this particular example, on a fairly average gaming laptop. This was Again, just another short demonstration. Soon I will show you in more detail how all this is done and talk more about why I believe that this is definitely the future of visualization and design. Share this video if you like it, jump on the VR train with us, subscribe, very important, for more interesting videos on new developments in architecture. Stay free, stay tuned. Peace.